Hello and welcome Shinobi, it's your Sensei Gaming Dojo or Dojo Senpai for my fellow anime watchers. And I have to say before we get into the video that this is the very first guide that I've ever done. <clears throat> so I will try my best to explain these top 4 tips and tricks and best ways to use Sunil and his abilities in Farlight 84. Let's get it. Alright, I'm going to start off by covering the basics. So when you click on this rectangular box, you get an overall description of what any hero can do. But in this case, Sunil. So Sunil's passive ability is for his movement speed to be increased while he's shooting. Essentially, this is just to be used for strafing and taking as little damage as possible when you're in a gunfight. So that doesn't mean to go around the map shooting to get from one place to another. Yo! Sunil's springboard. Though early game you may bounce a couple of yards, it does get better as you level up your character throughout the game with these. You go from covering a couple of yards to covering a bunch of yards. Now, when you hit quote unquote yard level, or to make things easier, when this just turns orange, you start to bounce like a bigoted basketball. You can use your springboard to get on top of a whole lot of tall buildings with the help of a vertical boost. You can also cover a whole lot of ground, and you can use a springboard to get in and out of gunfights quickly. But also keep in mind that the enemies can use your springboard too, so don't just drop it like it's hot and mess around and get shot. Eh? The hologram guide. Honestly, I'm not even sure why it's called this, because nothing about it is hologram-like, nor does it guide you in the right direction. But anyway, this ability turns you and your teammates into Barry Allen. It's like somebody took this man's last Cheeto and he's hunting you down. I will find you. And I will kill you. So other than the temporary inhumane speed boost that you get, his ability also dispels all negative effects from allies while making them briefly immune to debuffs. And if that wasn't already enough, he gets a damage buff. Him and his teammates. Though I did do some testing and training around just to see how much it increased by and it got complicated. Some guns do plus one to the body plus one to the head, others do plus one to the body plus two to the head, and then there's snipers and shotguns it gets even crazier it does plus 12 to the body plus 12 to the head. So it fluctuates depending on the gun that you're using. Sunil's versatility. He's just an overall great hero, I mean you can use the guy in solo squads if you're feeling bold, solo duos if you're feeling brave since they just recently added that, and honestly he just makes any team that he's on good, like the Jordan of Farlight 84. So if you like to see any of these tips in action, I recommend checking out this video and until next time, this is the way of the dojo. Peace.